been an animal lover my whole life. And I remember when I was a kid, like I uh, read on the back of the Purina Dog Child box, all you had is love, and that's what I do here. I don't know, I just treat them good. I give them the hay, their food, and the water. Come on, sweetheart. So go back into your field. But I spend time with them, which is the best part. Effort. Cut it out. <laughs> That'd be all right. My name is Bill Santangelo. Member of the Wall Kill Correctional Facility in New York State. <laughs> what kind of member? Uh, an inmate. <laughs> yeah. Rosie is nuts, man. <laughs> yeah. She took over the field when she moved in. She's a spirited horse. Yeah, she's spirited. She just straight whacked out of mud. <laughs> no, she's spirited, man. She's got a lot of puppies. I remember walking this road in 14 inches of snow. My name is Jim Tramper. I'm the vocational instructor here. I teach the inmates how to work with the retired racehorses. We get horses right off the track. They're all, <laughs> I'll call it wired up. Some come in that have been either spoiled or been abused. Some uh, are nasty because people have been nasty to them. Um, some of them are not ever going to be sound. And they'll go to one of the other retirement farms around the country. Oh, I got something for you. You want an apple? This will calm me down, all right? Hey, 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 don't try to gobble off. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So hey, this what? makes it easier to be in prison? No. Back it up. Back it up. Huh? Been locked up since I was 18. 34 now. I go home next year, so I got 15 months left. You know, I've been been down this long, 15 years, going on, you know, going on 16, so it doesn't really bother me. So it's just that uh, going home is going to be a, a big problem. The way the walk kill facility works, it's more of a transitional facility. We, get, we tend to give our inmates a little more freedom to try to get them used to what it's going to be like to go back home. You don't do that. You don't do that. Not with me. You can't lock people up for the rest of their lives and just leave them here. Eventually they have to go into society. So we have to do something to get them ready to go back to society. Because we just don't, we can't continue to warehouse people. I want to introduce you to this fellow with the coffee cup. Salam's only here half a day. Um, so I want you to talk to him, what he's, his experiences have been here. I like the older horses because they're more, more settled, more calm. You know, they are more uh, uh, acceptable to learning. They learn more because they are older. This is Jiggy. She just recently got her eye out. The eye was, uh, she had cataract in, in that eye over there. The young horses, they're stubborn. Some of the old times are stubborn too, but they're not as stubborn as the, as the uh, younger horses. You can, you can actually teach them from right from wrong. Found some grass now. She was in a bad predicament though, as far as the eye. If we take horses that have had broken legs or, or different problems uh, with their behaviors and we fix them. Uh, inmates are a little tougher. Inmates are tougher to fix, but the horses do a lot to fix the behavior of inmates. He always gets the attention. Come on, you ready? Yeah, getting close to him is a tough part, especially a new horse. Because you get attached to him after several months in your field and your care, and then they get shipped off to another farm, you know. You know they're like inmates in a way. They go from farm to farm. So for the time they're here, I do the best I can for them. And that's, that's what's important. He's nice. Alright, you wanna rub now? Go ahead, get your rub on. Get your rub on. Get your rub on. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, get your rub on. Can we ask you what you're yes. here for? Uh attempted murder. Uh legal firearm had a handgun, you know, and not allowed to possess one in New York State without a permit. Manslaughter. I had something to do with my baby sister getting raped, so I went and lost it. My backup was against the wall, as they say. So it was either me or him, you know. It's, it's sad that it happened that way, but you know, things happen on the street that you sometimes you can't avoid, especially where I come from. You know, you know the hood. 
Well, it's easy to get in trouble around these days. They got more laws than people, I would say, which is good because there's so many people committing so much crimes. How, how big is this? Well, I'd say it's about eight by 12, like that. How big are the cells? Probably about six, six, by, six by eight. Yeah, six by eight, yeah, ten. Yeah. And here I work with the horses, and it keeps me busy. Even though they're big animals, they, they, they understand love. It's a shame they had to have the life of uh, racing, because they were abused terribly, I'm sure. Got to get my guys back. See you later. You know, they, they, they get whipped, they kick, they got to run faster than the next horse. Okay. How many you got? I got 10. They don't need that type of life, you know? Animals should just be a little free like here. And, you know, they should just be happy.